Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 35th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. Now in the last tutorial we learned to use the logical AND operator and I told you guys that in this one we will be checking out the OR operator but instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn a new technique and uh, that's because the technique that we're gonna discuss in this tutorial we will be using it uh, to build our script for the OR operator, right? So this is essential and uh, in the next tutorial we'll get to our discussion on OR. So I have uh, my text editor up here and I've saved this file in my home folder given it the name count and the extension sh as you can see and uh, what this script is going to do is it's going to ask the user to enter a character and then it would uh, check whether just one character has been entered or more than one characters have been input and uh, if one character has been entered then it will display one message and you know if more than one characters have been entered then it will probably you know display a message like uh, invalid input right so it's going to be a short and sweet script and uh, let's get started with it so i'll use echo on the first line to ask the user enter a character Right, and I'll use read to store the input in the variable var. And on the next line, I'm gonna check whether uh, the number of characters in var uh, is one or greater than one. Now, I'm gonna use wc with the option hyphen c here, and wc is the word count utility. And uh, I've used hyphen c here because uh, I am interested in calculating the number of characters. And um, wc comes with three important options hyphen L for lines, hyphen W for words, and hyphen C for characters. And uh, in case you people have forgotten how to use WC or if you have missed the tutorial on WC then I'll put the link to the tutorial in the description below and you can watch it. Right? So WC receives uh, input in text form. Right? So uh, if I would simply type in the name of my variable here dollar var then it won't make too much of, a, of a sense to wc in fact it won't make any sense at all so what I would have to do is I would have to echo out the contents of uh, the variable dollar var here and then I would have to use the pipe symbol to send that output to wc so what I mean is echo dollar var uh, would simply echo out the contents of the variable and then you know whatever will be echoed out would become the input to the command wc hyphen c and wc hyphen c would return the number of characters right and since we are interested in the uh, total outcome of uh, this combination of commands we're gonna put this entire thing within uh, reverse quotes or accent graves right and uh, now we are gonna use the hyphen eq operator and compare this numeric value to 2 and the reason why we've used a 2 here and not 1 is because when you use read to grab users input it basically appends the carriage return character to your input right and uh, I'll demonstrate that to you guys I have my terminal here and if I would simply type in read space num and press the enter key then uh, my cursor blinks and waits for me to type in something right so if I would uh, let's say type in 456 I would have to press the enter key to get back my dollar prompt and when I press the enter key my variable num doesn't just get the value 456 but it gets the value 456 plus the carrier's return character and if I would use echo to see the contents of my variable num here then you would see that I get 456 and my dollar prompt gets displayed on the next line and that's because there's a new line character at the end right so if that wasn't the case with read then we would have uh, obviously compared our numeric value to one but since uh, there is one additional character there I would have to compare the value to two. I hope you people have understood this and um, uh, I'm gonna well make this an if statement because uh, we have to display uh, a couple of stupid messages and uh, on the next line would go the keyword then and I'll use echo to display um, you entered a character and if we go inside the else block then the user will see a different message mm, invalid input 
all right and I'll terminate my if block by using the keyword fi save this file and uh, I'll bring up my terminal clear the screen for you and uh, what was the name okay asset space count dot sh and it, it tells me that I have to enter a character so if I type in j and press enter then it tells me that I entered a character and if I uh, well, type in four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and press the enter key. Then it tells me invalid input, right? And you can uh, work around with the shell script, and you can, you know, uh, type in random input and see that it actually does what it's supposed to do, right? So there you go. Um, I will be using uh, this method in the next tutorial, and that's why I've discussed it here. So I hope you people have understood how to use uh, wc hyphen c with echo I'll uh, maybe go over it once again I've used echo dollar var here because I wanted to transmit the output of this statement to the output sorry uh, to act as the input of wc hyphen c and uh, since both these are actually commands wc hyphen c is a command that uses the input that's provided by the output of the echo dollar var I've used the pipe symbol here right and the pipe symbol you can find it over the enter key and the accent graves you can find them uh, uh, you know next to the key one on your keyboard right and uh, we've used uh, both these things before so I'm sure uh, these are not new concepts to you and I've, uh, I'm sure you people have understood um, why we've compared the numeric value to two instead of one right so thank you so much for watching this tutorial I'll meet you guys in the next one and please subscribe to my channel